We will now look into the shift lever of the NuVinci system. Uh, the cables are a pole-pole type cable. The indicator is quite clever. We have our cyclist going up a hill, a low gear, gear is getting higher and higher till our highest gear. Uh, unfortunately, cyclist doesn't go downhill, but that is our highest gear right there. Uh, so that tells us the relative gears that we're, we're in. Uh, work on the bike upside down here or loosen the uh, set screw below and rotate the shift lever around. Uh, we'll snug that up to keep it from rotating. We're going to want access into this plate here. And we'll begin by removing the, uh, the cover. So a very small cross tip, known as a Phillips sometimes. Screw comes out. Uh, this little tab here we can grab and pull up. Gently wiggle this thing free. It is plastic, so do not force anything. And now we can see our, our cables. So it's a pull-pull type system that's rotating uh, the shifting mechanism back at the, at the rear hub. Uh, the gears here spinning to make our cute cyclist uh, go up the hill and then flat. Uh, so to replace cables, we'll uh, start by pulling the housing back. Pull our cable through. And let's pull this cable through as well. It is best <clears throat> to use a uh, steel pick with a, with a crook in the end here to gain access to the cable end. A flat tip screwdriver can substitute, uh, but the, uh, the seal pick with the crooked end there, the hooked end, will really speed, uh, speed your work. So here we can see one cable end. Uh, then we rotate, we'll see that over here we have the other cable end. So we need to remove both of these. Uh, so I'm going to work underneath the cable here and coax that end up and uh, not trying to force anything but you do need to get in there and pull there we go that is good that's for that one out with the first cable next I'm going to rotate so we find the second cable end. Again, we're going to work this under. Lift the cable end. And out. We will now install the new shift cables into our, our shifter here. Again, there's two, two cables. One is going to sit here. The other one's going to sit in here. So one cable at a time must be installed. Start always with a new fresh cable. These nicely welded ends here are not going to fray as we pass around the lever. Uh, it's going to be a nice feature, so start with the new cable. It's useful to give it a little bend, a little curve to, to help make that, that corner. Uh, this one is going to pass this way, so let's feed it through the hole here. Now I'm going to rotate the cable and the shift lever together and give it a gentle push. You can see it's coming out right here. I'm going to start pulling that through. And I'm going to feed it through the barrel adjuster and through its guide. So it sits nicely in the guide and out, out the barrel adjuster. I'm going to back up a little bit because we do want the cable end to sit nicely in the socket and the shift lever. 
And here comes the cable end. All the way down inside. Very nice. The second cable is going to go right through here. So again, a new cable. Gentle little curve to help that. Let's go here. Feed together, both going around. And a little push here. There it is, right there. Coming up through the guide into the barrel adjuster and out. Very nice. Let's pull this all the way through. So, rotate. There's the socket. In we go. We now have two of them. So our pull-pull system that is, is now complete. We have new cables. We are ready to reinstall the plastic cover. The plastic cover does come with a small spring foot. Helps maintain the cables uh, down fully in their, their groove there. No need to take that out. Let's make sure this is fully settled in the shift lever. Just like so. Very gentle torques needed on, on the uh, screw. Just gently snug is enough. And then that's ready to go. And of course we have to return it to a usable position for our customer. And there's again the cyclist going up and down the little hill and we'll gently set the set screw so this can't rotate when they're uh, when they're riding